All right, let's see what they got. Haven't found much. Oh my goodness. This is, dude, do you see all this? All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are doing some thrifting, always looking for some golf clubs or anything else cool that we can find. And if you guys like these uh, styles of videos, we've got a playlist of over 100, like garage sales, flea market finds and everything. Yeah. But uh, let's get inside thrift store number one, see what we can find today. Got any sales today? Holiday items, 50% off. See if we can get some holiday golf items. <laughs> Ashley's found her, what is that, a scale? You, of all people, I don't think you need a scale. What is that? It's not a workout device. You put like those uh, bands or something. Bands. Okay. <laughs> no <laughs> idea what that is. Looks like they got some new clubs, or at least they've all been rearranged. At least, what do you got? Jack, Jack Nicholas, Nicholas McGregor McGregor putter. Yep. That's pretty cool. Looks like we got some uh, Ping Zing knockoffs. Uh, so, oh, we got a uh, left-handed. Whoa, left-handed uh, Titleist 976R, <laughs> and a uh, matching three with the Pro Trajectory 975F. Got some uh, good lefty stuff right out. Oh, a what yard is? putter. Oh, we found one of these before. This is like the most bizarre golf uh, story you will ever. I'll leave a link in the description. Yes. Too long to get into, but definitely a interesting find. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Read. Yeah, it's definitely worth the read, the article. We've uh, found those before and uh, everybody always comments about them. So yeah. we'll leave that article down in the description below. But uh, we got a, I think it's like a full set of some uh, lefty clubs. We got a Callaway, Big Bertha Warbird. Wow. We got the matching driver. Let's see if there's an iron or a putter to go with it. Well, we got the putter, I oh, guess. Yeah. <laughs> see if there's some irons. Got a Wilson staff right there. Huh. Pretty good find so far. Older, but still pretty good. You see anything else in there? Yar. 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 <laughs> Some more uh, pirate themed uh, putt putt for us. Oh, we got an Orlemar tri metal too. Pretty good left handed finds. Yeah. And the uh, snowboard is still here. You guys always ask about that. It's been here for two years. Not a hot seller in Florida. Cold seller. Every time. Tenth time I've told that joke. We also found the Divine Nine Wood uh, left handed Callaway, and Ashley found this. What is that? Simply Golf Back to Basics. Oh, a DVD set. A book to, and DVD set. I also need to learn basics before I can go back to <laughs> you need to, What does it say? Back to, ba back oh, to ba basics. You need to learn the basics beforehand. <laughs> I didn't catch it. It's too quick for me. I also got a uh, golf ball monogrammer. One of the uh, gifts that everybody gets. A non-golfer non always gets a golfer yeah. that for Christmas. Yep. Comment below the most common uh, gift that you get that clearly was bought for you by a non-golfer. Yeah. Tees. Oh, Lots PNC tees. tees. PNC tees. It's like a, a promotional item, but it's the thrift store that keeps on giving. We got a, a three-piece set. What is this? Like a tea set? Yeah. Tea time. Tea time. Huh. Oh, is this too complicated of a system for me? But <laughs> three-piece set for five bucks. I don't think we need that, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. And eight dollars later, we got ourselves some classics. Classic Titleist, classic Callaways, and a Yar putter. Again, we'll leave the uh, story linked in the uh, description below, but definitely some good finds. Yar! You need to change it for this one. Yar! <laughs> I see what you did there. Whoa, this place usually doesn't even have golf clubs. Look at that whole section of them over here today. Let's see what we got. Some Primas. Never even seen those before. Got a full set of these. Look like some Walter Hagen irons. You got something? kind of clever. It says up to 145 yards. What if uh, like Bryson hits that? I think you can hit it further than that. <laughs> well, <laughs> we yeah, get a, if you're just starting out. Yeah, if you're, you're just like, starting out, then you probably won't hit it. it yeah, yeah. It's up to 145 yards. I get what you're saying. Got a full set of these uh, Lynx Black Cats, a Founders Club. Let's see if they've got anything over in here. Uh, not really seeing anything, but it is a good sign that they're uh, starting to uh, at least get some golf clubs in. Oh, we got a uh, Tommy Armor. Tommy Armor Evo. I have a two iron of that that's pretty similar to that. It has like a movable weight. I think it's pretty sweet. But uh, doesn't look like there's anything for us, but definitely a good sign that they're starting to get some clubs in. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see what they got. Haven't found much. Oh my goodness. This is. Dude, do you see all this? <laughs> we haven't been here in a while. Oh but. my. We got a uh, R11 driver. We got an Adams Idea V3 hybrid. We got a uh, Hogan CFT3 oh. hybrid. A uh, Nike uh, T63 wood. Full set of Adams tight lies. Nike Sumo. Nike Sumo. Got a uh, DCI 762 R93 wood. Good ones in there. Yeah. yeah, these are really good. Oh wow. They've been here a whole day. 
Oh, okay. oh okay, yeah. Yeah, this is some good stuff. This is the, uh, one of the guys who works here saying they got some good stuff. And we got the uh, Nike driver back there too. Well, this is gonna be one of our best uh, thrift store finds, let alone some... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, what'd you get? Well, that's what I was, I was excited about, the Affleck duck. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. A dollar fifty each. These are pretty sweet. This is one of our best thrift store finds of all time, easily. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, there's a, I didn't even see the Wedgwood. Yeah, the Wedgwood is in there too. What putter did this, uh, you got a Tommy Armor putter. And then there's a Pinewood two-way chipper. <laughs> two-way chipper. Oh, what do you call it? Pine Meadow. Whatever. Pine Meadow, yeah. Cheap brand from Amazon, but dang, that is a uh, heck of a find for sure. Oh, you got a Cleveland CZ14 iron, or a uh, wedge. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. The secret stash. Yeah, but that whole secret stash of everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got this set here. Um, it's a righty. Um, it's a whole set with the bag. Huh. I like to get 20 bucks maybe for it. 20? Cool. I'll take a look at them. Are these for sale too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a good cut in here. Yeah, that's cool. That one. Cool. Yeah, and these two are pretty good. Too. Oh, those are kids. Those are pains. Yeah, that goes with my set, but I don't. Oh, really? I can't hit those clubs to save my life. Couple more nice putters. Uh, that's a four. You want these two? Ah, uh, no, I'm okay on those ones. Uh, and then this is a set, you said? Yeah, this is a set. Yeah, I, don't, I probably only want that one, so I don't want to break up your whole set. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a three, three five, one. An old Wilson set there. Oh, okay, somebody yeah. stuck some in there. Mm hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's a full set of the Wilsons and then that one randomly. All right. Oh, you, you want, want these? Yeah, cool. So, five bucks. Five bucks? Okay, cool. We can do that. What? Oh, no, it's a traditional good. Oh, yeah. that was my mini putter. <laughs> Ladies, Thank you. Thank you. Do you have like a straight donation thing? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Throw that. All that in there. Thank, you. Thank you. All right, folks, made it out to the golf course. We're gonna test everything. Well, not everything we out. Some of them out. <laughs> yeah, if we brought everything out, we'd probably need two or three golf yeah, carts. It would and look like John's golf bag if yeah. you had all your clubs in All there. the clubs that I say that are going in the bag. <laughs> Yeah, probably, but uh, definitely uh, super thankful for that guy. He like brought us into that back room yeah. to a secret stash of golf clubs, and he said that he was going to hold stuff for us in the future, so that should be fun. Yeah. But we're going to play a little four-hole alternate shot. Ashley's got to prepare for the match tomorrow, so she's yes. going to be hitting a lot of wedges, hopefully. Getting ready for the par three. Yeah, against my dad, so stay tuned for that if you want to see the challenge against well, Ashley versus my dad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even playing. No. I don't know why I'm excited about it, but <laughs> let's get started with the four hole alternate shot here. I think the first hole is about 320 yards. I'm going with the R11. some practice behind the tree. Well, I'm usually the one who leaves John behind a tree in these little alternate shot challenges, but uh, I guess it's payback. Hopefully, I'm in a decent position so we can get this one up and down. Oh, that could be good. <laughs> Ashley's running. Got a little Sergio. S stayed on the green. No, just in the fringe. Just in the fringe, but uh, we should be able to putt that. Also, we'll throw up some uh, eBay comps for all the clubs that we found. We'll go over all the clubs when we get back home, but let's see if we can't uh, knock that one in for birdie or at least get it up and down. Yar. You're going to go with the yar? Oh, I think that's the only putter we have, No, we right? got that snake eyes putter, oh, too. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm going with whatever. the snake eyes. You can go with the yar. Okay. <laughs>
Well, that one slowed down. Yeah. Those butter are sweet, though. It's like a uh, old school Snake Eyes Wilson 8802 style blade putter. Felt really good. Nice. Right, you got that. Uh, that's not a tap in for me, but it's probably a tap in for you. <laughs> Boom. All right, even par through one. Luckily, Ashley had the uh, shorter putt. If you guys have watched the channel before, you know that's not my. Forte. Not my forte, let's just say that. <laughs> but uh, we got a 300 yard hole here. Probably gonna go with the uh, R9 three wood. Also, when, uh, on the first hole, when I took back the uh, R11 on my backswing, I was like, this is the world's heaviest club. <laughs> and it might actually be, because there's like a bunch of lead tape yeah. on there. So it felt really strange. And I think the R9 has some uh, lead tape on there. So I hit it okay on the first hole. Let's see if it translates into the R9 three wood. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Kind of. Probably not, but uh, <laughs> 300 yards, I'm going with the three wood. Cool. Could have just said that. <laughs> wow. Whoever had these clubs before was definitely a tinkerer. There's lead weight on there and there's like these weird racing stripes on the three wood and the driver. And then they uh, didn't really put this grip on straight either. It's like <laughs> completely cockeyed, but oh, there's a name on there too. Jeter. Maybe we bought Derek Jeter's golf clubs. <laughs> We can, rare fine. Rare fine. we can clickbait it. We <laughs> bought Derek Jeter's golf clubs. Bad idea. But uh, Ashley's got <laughs> Ashley's got a hundred yards left. What uh, wedge? Do you you want to go with the Adams wedge or you want to go with a full shot with the Wedgewood? Uh, let's do a Wedgewood shot. Wedgewood. Sounds like a good plan to me. <laughs> oh, going right at it. Get through. Oh, oh no. It just crept back into the uh, bunker. We'll go with the uh, CG14 from there. Get some, uh, no, that was a good shot. It was right at it. You, you normally like skip it through the bunker. Yeah. Not today. Not today. No members bounces for Ashley today. All right, we should be a safe distance away. John's down in the bunker. Oh, that's looking good. Now you need to sit. Sit, 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 sit. Not bad from where I left him. Ashley lining up. Uh, what is this for par? Par. Par. <laughs> par with the yar. I've been spending too much time at Pirates Cove uh, mini golf. Oh, that could be good. Oh man, lip out. You got a bad uh, break with the bunker and a lip out. Yeah. This course just doesn't recognize Ashley's true talents, but <laughs> that's uh, my tap in. Yeah. And the uh, next hole is a par three, so you get to practice another wedge. There you go. Perfect. Roll. Oh. Ashley's falling in love with that Wedgwood. Yeah. Doesn't go very far, but it's dead straight every time. Yeah, need the other Wedgwoods. <laughs> yeah, a full, we'll do a full set of Wedgwoods one day. <laughs> oh, going with the flop shot. Looking good. Huh, just stop. Probably would have been smarter to do a bump and run there, but uh, this is YouTube, so you have to do a flop shot every single time around the green. Seems to be the rule, but uh, let's see if Ashley can't uh, convert this for par. We're struggling today. Snake Eyes putter. Oh wow, that broke the complete opposite way that I thought. Well, all right, one more hole. That was my tap-in, so you're leading off on the next tee. Yes. <laughs> this is why you buy a 10-foot tripod. Nature. I really hope that didn't frame. Whoa. <laughs> Nature attacks. Don't think he likes you. Yeah, not many people do. All right, the next hole is about 240 yards, and like the last four times we played here, I've hit it straight in the middle. And from like 100 yards, John hasn't been able to hit the green, so hopefully we can change our luck today. Does that like make you fun of me? <laughs> that was going to be nice caddy, caddying for you tomorrow, but uh, oh no, I'll be giving my dad the uh, correct lines. Oh, uh, uh oh. Well, hopefully we can just change our luck all around. <laughs> to miss the fairway, and then I hit the green. That's how that's how we would work. <laughs> you going with the big lead weighted thing? Yeah, I'm kind of freaked out about the lead weight. Not really sure how that's going to The last time out. we had this, it was missing the uh, weight port, oh. and we thought it was going to explode. Do you remember that? Yeah, and then I hit like Whoa. my like furthest drive at that time. Remember that? Have... Yeah, I, I just remembered the shot. I just told you I remember, remember the shot. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I kind of like the racing stripes. You like the racing stripes? We're going to be that like old couple that like tells each other's stories back to them. Like, do you remember the time that we did this? And then like the next day, I'll be like, do you remember the time we did this? Was, We're already there. That's why I'm like, that was that different? <laughs> You're like trying to throw me off. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow. 
It's still bouncing. We need to find the uh, R11 with the ladies flex because every time you hit that. I don't know what it is about this club and there's always something weird about it. Yeah, that one has lead tape. The last one didn't even have any tape or any weight. You remember Literally that? no weight. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Everybody remembers now. All right, let's get into the uh, slap happy portion of the uh, broadcast here. Yep. The sun is going down and uh, so is our uh, level of communication skills, but uh, probably have less than 100 yards. And I'm pretty sure Ashley missed the fairway. Yeah, so hopefully. So uh, hopefully we reversed our trend here. Yeah, and Although I that is to get my caddy back for tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know if I agree to that, but <laughs> this pin, you'll see, it uh, doesn't look very good. There's oh. water to the left, it's over a bunker, and there's like two feet of green. You got this. Other than that, looks like a fairly Fort, Fort, Stra Fort Stewart. Straightforward <laughs> shot. Wow. Finally hit the green. Also, Ashley's drive, I think we only had like 40 or 50 yards left. Yeah, that was crazy. That was bomb. Bombed it. Yup. All right, let's see if we can end things out here on a positive note. Ashley uh, going into tomorrow. Have we mentioned there's a match tomorrow? No, I don't think we have. Yep, about, uh, probably about 16 to 17 and a half feet <laughs> left for birdie. Ooh. Wow. We are not uh, not experts at reading these greens yet, for sure. So I think we can uh, manage that for a par. Yep. If not, we'll show you. But if we do, we'll meet Oops. you back at the house and go over all the clubs. <laughs> Sounds good. That didn't make any sense. Nope, not at all. Yay, go team. All right, folks, and just like that, we are back at home. It's actually the next yeah. day. We didn't have a chance to film the, no. uh, the outro last night, and we just got done filming the match with uh, Ashley and my dad. And I have to say, it was probably the most fun I've ever had on a golf yeah. course. No spoilers, but lots of yeah, fun. Yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> I didn't even play it. It was the most fun I've ever had on a golf course. But let's take a quick look at everything that we've got here. Obviously, it was a uh, bunch of clubs. Yes. We'll probably uh, be opening up the store again here soon. We had it closed for a while for the holidays, and uh, we were moving. Yeah, we were moving. But let's take a quick look at everything. We got the uh, Nike T63 wood. We got the R11 that Ashley absolutely killed. We got the Nike uh, driver to go with the uh, T63 wood. We got some, uh, you, you basically have seen everything. Let's uh, show you the stuff that you haven't seen. Maybe the uh, the uh, Ping Rapture 3 and 4 iron, a Hogan CFT, the Nike Sumo, and then this, the Tradition Putter is actually um, a uh, NC State Wolfpack oh, nice. putter. Yeah, we have one of those in the Georgia that we've got in a mystery box, but uh, what else do we got in here? I actually played a few holes uh, afterwards, after we got done filming, with the Snake Eyes putter, and I really liked that. And then we got the Tommy Armor putter. It kind of looks like a tailor-made Munza. Or an alien. Or an alien, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one or the other. We got a bunch of other stuff in here. I actually hit the uh, Adam's Tight Lights afterwards, and uh, those were pretty good too. But definitely a good day. One of our best days at the thrift stores in a long time, to say the least. <laughs> But uh, stay tuned for Ashley's match against my dad. It was definitely a lot of fun. But hope you guys did like this video. Like, subscribe, and and we'll see you next.